As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Margaret Senior. And as always, we welcome those joining us at this Mass through the live streaming. In today's first reading, somewhat echoing yesterday's rejoicing in Jerusalem, the heavenly city, Isaiah speaks of the new Jerusalem and its joy. And in the Gospel, we hear of the healing by Jesus of the official son, the breaking in to this world through the ministry of Jesus of the heavenly kingdom with all its life and peace and joy. And so to prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and <laughs> sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and may not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, now I create new heavens and a new earth, and the past will not be remembered and will come no more to men's minds. Be glad and rejoice forever and ever for what I am creating, because I now create Jerusalem joy and her people gladness. I shall rejoice over Jerusalem and exult in my people. No more will the sound of weeping or the sound of cries be heard in her. In her, no more will be found the infant living a few days only, or the old man not living to the end of his days. To die at the age of a hundred will be dying young. Not to live to be a hundred will be the sign of a curse. They will build houses and inhabit them, plant vineyards, and eat their fruit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word, because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. 
Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. He himself had declared that there is no respect for a prophet in his own country. But on his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done at Jerusalem during the festival, which they too had attended. He went again to Cana in Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a court official there whose son was ill at Capernaum, and hearing that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went and asked him to come and cure his son as he was at the point of death. Jesus said, So you will not believe unless you see signs and portents. Sir, answered the official, come down before my child dies. Go home, said Jesus, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said and started on his way. And while he was still on the journey, his servants met him with the news that his boy was alive. He asked them when the boy had begun to recover. The fever left him yesterday, they said, at the seventh hour. The father realized that this was exactly the time when Jesus had said, your son will live and he and all his household believed. This was the second sign given by Jesus on his return from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen.
At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws, and my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May your holy gift, so Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for the blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord, and since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.